In January of 2021, my boyfriend Dylan and I road tripped across the US for four months in a travel trailer, documenting the entire experience in a series I called Rookies on the Road. From snowy Tennessee to the Red Rocks of Sedona and the amazing national parks of California, we completely fell in love with RV life and all the challenges and adventures that come along with it. Morale is high, people. Let's go. But halfway through 2021, we returned to our hometown of Tampa, Florida after Dylan sold his business and this was just as international borders were opening up so i took the opportunity after nearly two years of quarantine to travel internationally i met the most incredible people experienced rich cultures and backpacked solo through colombia and mexico which was seriously the best experience ever but after almost a year of balancing work travel and a long distance relationship i kept finding myself reminiscing on our life back in the rv and really missing it I missed living in nature, traveling slowly, and having a home base. I could not get it out of my head. I'll go into more detail at the end of this video, but the most important thing is that we bought a freaking travel trailer. Today's the day. We did it! And we're moving in full time. Nice. Go us. Boom! So sit back, grab a beer, and welcome back to Rookies on the Road. Season two, baby. Guys, we're going to the RV Lazy Days in Tampa. It's official, it's happening. Lazy Days opens at eight o'clock, so Dylan, of course, made sure we'd get there right when it opened. We're gonna go look at some RVs. Tell me I help you. Looking at purchasing a trailer. Oh, okay. we wanna see some first. Okay. So one of the main things we're looking at in these RVs is to see if there's an area to um, convert it into a, like an office area, basically. We decided that if we're gonna do this long-term, we need a dedicated workspace. In this particular trailer, this section is probably our best bet. Dylan is just scanning this with his 3D scanner, which is really cool, so we can see the measurements because it is quite tight, but we'll see if we can make it work. I kinda like it in here, it's its own little room. Yeah. The bathrooms are nice. Ooh, oh, there's like three different compartments so you can close this door for the bed and you can close the bathroom door. So it's like three different rooms. So tall, <laughs> you look like, you look so tall. <laughs> so for this one, we would take this area out for the desk. Which we also have to think about how much room that we both want. Right. <gasps> Why do I like this so much? But the only issue okay. is this. Oh, the lip. I personally like this layout the best. We would put the office right here, but this lip is just not, not ideal. It. And it's, it will limit the space a lot because obviously like this is the slide. But the lip is just going to be an issue because of our chairs. But otherwise, I really like it. So this is just so annoying. <laughs> oh, wow. So this is what the uh, office would be right here. Yeah, because th there is a lip, but it's big enough. Okay. Do, don't you think? No, that's fine. See, this room doesn't have that much storage. That's the only thing. Like this is the main amount of storage that we would have. We could get creative, but... The other ones had more storage. This is definitely the nicest shower. That's so nice. My favorite ones are the first one and then this one. But I agree with you that the bedroom in this one's just not ideal. Well, the, story, the storage in this one's really weird. Mm -hmm. The first one I think had really great storage yeah. and didn't compromise that much in terms of what we would like. Right. It, it does... already had our back backsplash in the kitchen, which is something that we don't have to do. If you remember that video, <laughs> we went through that. It took so long. long. Welcome to Florida where everything <laughs> Melts. <laughs> I just love the layout of the first one. Okay. I really do. Well, then let's go back to it and look at it one more time. That's my second favorite, but is it okay if we go look at the first yeah, one one more time? Of course we're gonna do okay. Okay, so it has been two days since we first went to Lazy Days. We just got a pretty dreamy call. I don't even know if it's fully real yet but we're gonna go find out so essentially what happened is not even 24 hours after we left lazy days the first time we got a call from our sales guy basically saying that someone had just driven in to lazy days with the exact 
same trailer that we fell in love with, the Forest River Wildwood, and it was in perfect condition. It was the same year model layout as the one we had just looked at the day before. With all of that being said, we were going to save between eight and $10,000 just because it had been used for three months. And I'm just gonna keep it real with you guys. Basically the first one we looked at, the brand new 2022, was about 40,000 with a few extra add-ons and this one is 29. So what? I don't think it's too good to be true because I like this guy and obviously they wouldn't make us come all the way out there if it was too good to be true, but I will be so freaking pumped if this is our future home. Ah! I'm getting so excited. I've been thinking about it every single day. So. I know. <laughs> Slides in. <laughs> yeah, this looks the same, pretty much. You know how much you're saving? So long story short, after we took a look through this barely used trailer and it was in perfect condition and at least $8,000 cheaper than what we were originally going to spend, we pretty much took that as a sign that we could not ignore and we decided to go for it. <laughs> Today's the day. We did it! This experience feels completely different from when we got a trailer last year in 2021 for a bunch of reasons, but the main one really being that we're not really looking at this travel trailer as a way to road trip through the country for, you know, four to six months like we did last year. We're really looking for a place that we can transform into our future home for at least the next few years. And since we both work 100% remotely now, you know, this really does feel like the next right step in our lives, our relationship, our work, just everything in general. So yeah, this entire experience was completely different from the first time and I'm really, really excited to see where it takes us. Welcome to our 2022 Forest River Wildwood 24 XRXL. I think I got that right. <laughs> Okay, so I'm attempting to give you a tour of the pre reno trailer, but it's about to torrentially downpour outside, so we're gonna do it chop-chop before it starts pouring. So we'll start here. This is clearly a couch with a beautiful window view. However, I will say this will be gone starting tonight. We're ripping it out and we're building a desk here. And Tammy's taking over. <laughs> we can play cornhole here. Oh, no. There's some great storage. Storage down here as well. Move over here to the dinette. I love this dinette so much, first of all. It's so comfortable, and the material of the cushions themselves are actually really nice. They're not super sticky and gross and leathery. So obviously, you can have breakfast on here, you can do work here, but you can also lower this down, and it turns into like a full-size bed. So if you have guests, you can have one to two people sleep here, which is really nice. And then there's some really nice storage underneath here. Oh. Storing a tripod, clearly already. This is where we'll put a lot of our kitchen gear, probably. So welcome to my kitchen. We have a three burner gas stove. We've got an oven, this turns on and off. We got a normal microwave built in and some storage up here, already putting it to use. Nice sink and some more drawers here. Apart from this and these, there's not a ton of storage, but again, we can store a lot of our stuff underneath the dinette. And then we have a giant fridge and freezer. It's more than enough space for us. And our fireplace. I love this. I already know when we're in cold places, it's gonna be so nice and cozy. You can change the colors on here, which is cool. And then when it's actually cold, you can turn on the heat and it'll exert some nice heat. So love that. And then we will move on back to the bathroom. There are doors, this is a sliding. Close this, and then there's the door here as well. Yeah, we got toilet, decent amount of storage here, and then the main bathroom area. So this is the other area of the RV that we want to kind of redo a little bit. We're gonna put a butcher block here and a porcelain bowl as the sink, and then we're gonna put a circle mirror here and take out the vanity, because the vanity, it doesn't hardly have any storage and we'd rather just stay be cuter, I don't know. We have our shower, it's great, there's a little skylight here and it's 
quite roomy. We'll probably hang something up with all of our soap. And then that makes our way into the bedroom. Obviously, there's no mattress here. It did come with a mattress, but we're ordering a comfy, nice Tempur-Pedic mattress. So that's on its way. But yeah, it's a queen bed. I think it's a short queen. On either side, you have this storage. It has pass-through cubbies, so there's outlets in there. We have a walk-in closet here, which is really cool. You can walk on in. And then if you pull up the bed here, you not only get a little bit more storage here for clothes or shoes, but you also get access to the sort of garage area underneath, which is great. We didn't have this in our last trailer, and I'm personally really excited to be able to get stuff out of here if I need to from inside the trailer. But yeah, that is about it for the sort of bare bones of the trailer. I honestly love it so much. Obviously, that's why we got it. And I'm really excited to do some renovations to it, starting with the desk. That's our first project. So we're gonna be tackling that tonight. Yeah, it's our new home. Yay. So I know there's gonna be a lot of questions, like this is so random, maybe for people that only followed me for my international travels. So I wanted to kind of just address some of the questions that I think are gonna come up. I guess the simplest reason why we are going back to RV life is because we just miss it a lot. The reason we stopped in the first place was because Dylan sold his business while we were on the road and he needed to be back in Tampa to kind of get integrated into the new job. So we came back here and he was just in the office for months. So I was like, I'm not just gonna stay in Tampa. I can't really stay in one place very long. So I started traveling internationally and I really wanted to do that too because the pandemic was coming to an end and borders were opening up and I was really excited to kind of experience the work and travel lifestyle outside of the US. So yeah, I took advantage. I went to Peru, Colombia, Mexico, just got back from Europe as you guys saw and it was amazing i mean truly i met so many amazing people all over the world i proved to myself and to the world that you can really work from anywhere it is possible and that was just a really gratifying experience and i wouldn't trade it for anything but i will be honest i started to get extremely burnt out by the end of my europe trip and a lot of that was my own doing you can 100 percent do the work and travel lifestyle in a sustainable long-term way. You just have to go about it the right way and you can't travel as quickly as I was. So to anyone who is a digital nomad or wants to become one and do it internationally, I just recommend that you stay in one place at least like three to four weeks at a time because it will allow you to get in a routine, get your work done and see your surroundings without feeling so overwhelmed and so crunched for time. Side note, but it was really hard because I was in a long distance relationship. You know, Dylan was actually working remotely in Arizona at the time, doing a lot of work over there out west, and I was in Europe, so we were nine hours apart. So that was really difficult. And even when I was in Latin America, it was still kind of hard to be fully present because I did have an end date. Um, you know, I was really only gone for like three to four weeks at a time. I am in a serious committed relationship, um, but at the same time, I want to be able to live my life. So I was kind of having to do both so it didn't fully allow me to do either one to the fullest, if that makes sense. But I personally, and it wasn't just because of the relationship, I miss nature, I miss living out in the woods and hiking. Like every time I would get sad or feel really burnt out or just feel like very overwhelmed with everything, I constantly found myself thinking about the RV and waking up in the middle of nature and being able to go on a hike whenever I want. I mean, that is truly therapy for me. RV life made it so simple to do that. It just really made me miss it a lot. And so when Dylan came out to Portugal and we traveled through Portugal and Spain together, we kind of knew that we needed to just sort of sit back and reflect and figure out what the next move is. And by the end of the trip, we had kind of figured out that RV life was feasible again for both of our lifestyles. Dylan is now fully remote. He's been fully remote for at least the last six months. Um, and a lot of his work is throughout the US so he can do work and meet with clients all over the place. Is it really raining? It's been raining on and off all day. Welcome to Florida. It is coming down. Okay, it sort of stopped. But yeah, basically when we got the idea of RV life in our head, we kind of couldn't get it out of our head and we started getting obsessed and looking things up and like, getting all of these ideas. I'm like, oh, we can do an office. We can convert this and paint it this color and go to these places. And also I'm totally not nixing the possibility of going international again. I 
first of all, would love to do RV life through Canada and Mexico, but I have so many friends that are traveling through Latin America and everything, and it is such like, an easy flight. Not that I wanna be flying any time right now because it's been absurd lately with airlines, but I'm sure I will be traveling internationally here and there starting next year. That through this year will probably more just be RV life, going through the US and getting situated in our new home. But um, yeah, no, I still love international travel, but I do want to have a home base that isn't my freaking parents' house because that's just a no. I'm barely there, but like, it is nice to know that like I have my own space now. I can keep all my stuff there. I don't have to feel guilty about it, even though they love having me around because like, why wouldn't you? But um, no, it'll be really great to have my own place with Dylan now, finally, which is gonna be so fun. But yeah, that's kind of just letting you guys in on really what's been going on behind the scenes. And if you have any other questions, definitely comment them down below. But I am seriously so excited and just feeling really, really good about the future. I know this is the right choice for me and for Dylan. And I'm really excited to get back to the fun vlogs, camping, exploring the US, and hopefully going international eventually with the RV. And yeah, it'll just be so much fun to share the adventure with you guys and start season two of Rookies on the Road, which is so fun. So yeah, make sure you guys subscribe if you're new. Um, and if you're an OG and you've been here since season one of Rookies on the Road, hello, welcome back. I'm so happy you're here and let's do this again. As always, Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for future videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.